Velasco, and I work out of Buffalo with a nonprofit agency called um, Weedy. Um, we have a small business incubator that we call the West Side Bazaar. Um, some key principles um, with the project, this project that we're doing, and who we are as an organization and a community are um, community vibrancy, culture, um, community as people coming together, and business. So we are set in a particular neighborhood in Buffalo, um, one that has seen um, a lot of changes in the last maybe 20 or so years. Um, it used to be a heavy Italian neighborhood, um, a lot of businesses, very walkable community. Um, then we saw a really big decline, um, vacancies um, both residentially and commercially, and um, just a, a very low income community. Um, but more recently, it's, it's been a really neat shift is we've had a really um, large population of immigrant and refugees um, just influx into this community. And it's been really neat to see the momentum building. And um, one of our project that I'm talking about today is, we, we like to think of it as a just an anchor um, business uh, community that's helped really spur on um, just a lot of change in this community. So what we are is we are a indoor market we have food service and retail booths, and um, all of our vendors that right now are from other countries. They're not um, American born. And so we have quite a, um, a, just a cultural coming together of people from all, you know, all over the world, really. And Buffalo is a community where people can live just a few blocks um, from one another and really not know each other and be very diverse a few blocks from one another. So. We participate in a lot of festivals. We get out there to the different um, happening places out in Buffalo, participate in a lot of the economic development going on, and try to integrate, hey, there's all these cultures represented here in Buffalo. Check it out. This is a great opportunity for, for us to really um, become neighbors with one another. Um, so we have a ton of events um, out of our space and in different spaces, and we like to serve as a cultural bridge. Uh, the principles that we use um, when coming into the community, we were originally started by a church um, that lived near this community and really cared about it. And a few individuals were like, we want to do something productive about it. And we know that there's people out there that would like to start businesses um, that have a lot of skills, but they just don't have the opportunity. So we've taken this asset-based development model, um, focusing on the strengths that are already there in the community, not just coming in and saying, this is what you need. Um, and identifying, you know, where are entrepreneurs out there? Where are their opportunities? Where are there people that are unbanked um, um, but ready to, to start businesses? So it's been very community driven. It's been based on the ethnic groups that have been there. And the people that first started our initiative were really surprised because um, they didn't anticipate so many refugees and <coughs> immigrants participating in what we were doing. So it's been a really um, transformational experience for everyone. And it's very relationship driven, as I'll get to a little bit later. So we use a model um, called a business and cultural incubation model. So if people are just arriving in the US, we help them go along a, a business incubation curve, but also a cultural incubation curve. What does it mean to do business in the US, but also um, maintain who you are and what makes your business unique? And so we work one-on-one -on -one and um, in groups with people on the front end before they start a business and on the back end after they start a business. And we utilize a lot of relationships, so we use a lot of, a lot of co um, coaching relationships to support businesses so that they're successful after they go into an incubation space or if they start out on their own. And then if they're in the incubator, there's a lot of relationship going on and mentoring going on just being in that kind of space. And we also have a microloan program that helps um, support capital needs of the businesses in the incubator and also businesses out on the street. So, Community is just a big part of who we are. Um, I was talking with people about um, micro lending and lending to small businesses that wouldn't be able to get loans from a bank. They're actually proven to be more successful in a lower default rate than, um, than what the <coughs> banks traditionally have. And it really is because of the relationships that are built along the way that a lot of our clients don't think of us as a bank, but they think of us as a part of a community that they're in. Um, so that's really helped um, provide real business development and real community development. So our vision for um, our community, for the West Side Bazaar,
for the greater Buffalo community is we're excited about all of the economic development that's been happening in Buffalo. Um, we're just really thrilled about it. But we want to make sure that all of our neighborhoods are touched by that, that there aren't people that are left behind, um, people that have really great skills, really great passions and visions for their communities um, that don't have the opportunity to participate in that. So our vision is to get the vibrancy that we've created in this one institution in this neighborhood um, that has helped it become a place that is now walkable. People want to go, they want to go and experience culture. Um, our vision is to get that out on the street and so it's not just in this one little space, but we want these, these types of businesses to be popping up all over the place. And also, we don't want it just to be in this one, this one street in this one neighborhood, but we see so much opportunity for this to happen in Buffalo. And there's so many different organizations out there that are excited about this and have lots of things to bring to the table. So we're excited for the future of Buffalo and being a part of future incubation spaces um, future more flea market market spaces for entrepreneurs um, and also building up the community surrounding where we've seen a lot of economic